Hi guys. Okay, I have something really exciting to show everyone. Um, people have been asking what new sling bags are we bringing in? And I have three that are really amazing. Okay, so this one I've been using secretly and I insanely love it. It's the black leather with these beautiful um, metallic dots on the pocket. So this is a special combo and I think this is spectacular. So in the leather, this batch, every batch of leather is different, but this batch of leather is just insanely soft and just beautifully supple. So amazing. So excited about this and I just think it's amazing. And I paired it up with the denim thin strap because I think it looks really cool with the black and the, the dots and it doesn't get in the way of it. Super comfortable if you're um, a sling lover like me. And this is just a great new cool way to carry your things and it's you're totally hands-free I feel like if you have any you know like ugh, like my shoulder hurts whatever this really balances everything out and it's just a great way to travel and especially I noticed when I was in the cold weather mat you need all your stuff here so it's just really nice and you've got all this bulky like sweaters and everything on it's just nice to be hands-free and then just knowing that you could access your things so, and it's also secure and it's secure you have it there but like let's say like we were constantly this is one annoying thing that we found with the, when we were like- This will keep you a little bit warm actually. Yeah, and we were, you know, like you're, you're constantly tapping your phone, but when you have gloves on, you're like, oh my God, I have to take my gloves off. And then you don't know where to put them. Know, what if you put one of those like heaters inside your bag? I, oh warm, my God, that would be amazing. Right? A little heater bag. Yeah, That'd or just like, you know, those those things, just put it on the bag. The thermo warm, cares? Yeah, it warms your tongue. That's a good idea. Oh, that's a really good idea. And then you just put it, you can even put it on underneath your yeah. coat and then you just got a little heater inside. Yeah. Amazing. So this is the black one with the um, silver studs, which I love. I, I love this so much. Then we've got this amazing, beautiful one that, okay, I, I, I cannot, okay, it's all tangled up, but insane, right, Matt? Look, this is yeah, platinum so. leather, which is our most popular metallic right now with the olive and the gold dots. And then juxtaposed with this beautiful cognac. I just think, oh, it's so spectacular. Such a beautiful bag. It is just almost like a work of art. I'm like, this is insane. And I paired this one up with our olive strap. Well, that's a good pair. Right? Isn't yeah. that nice? Because I think it's just really elegant. Mm -hmm. Again, beautiful with camel, with white. Um, I, I have a big sweater here. Let me show you. So I have a big sweater that I'm playing with today. So um, wrap this around your neck. And then it's the textures. I love the textures. And then just wear this around. And then look how nice that looks. Isn't that great? That's good. I oh, love yeah. that. I just think it's great. And the jewelry. And the jewelry. And I just think it's just like little tiny pops. But man, let this bag be your accessory and actually pop your entire outfit. And I think that's what's so fun about these sling bags. And that's why these combos really get me jazzed. Because this is where I could just let my freak fly and just be like, I love this. Okay, my sweater just fell off. <laughs> okay, now the last one is the Pièce de Résistance. Love this if you're into denim. So this is our Japanese salvage denim backed with the suede. And so we put the suede in the back because the Japanese denim is dark. A lot of rubbing might, might. I'm not sure if you're in a really hot and humid weather or somehow you get in some rain, the denim may bleed on your thing. So you got to be careful with that. But I just think just knowing that and you're cool with it, this denim is insane, okay? Like how chic is this mat? I love this. So the body is primarily Japanese denim. We did the back and suede. People so have been asking for this one for a while. I know, and yeah. it's it's just... Ooh, I like the back and suede. That's not Right? Attractive. Don't you love that? Yeah, that's nice. It's just so pretty, and it's just better than I imagined when it came out. I was like, oh my God, this is insane. The suede pairs really well with other denim. Right? Yeah. And then I coupled it with... I, I, I'm short, so I could use a shoulder strap. Five, as four. my crossbody, 5'4". And again, super comfortable, looks a little cool. And um, yeah, off you go, Matt. Like this is, I feel like- Off the, to the races? Off to the races. I feel like the sling bag is almost an accessory that you put on because this outfit was kind of, a, you know, like, you know, I just had a camel coat on. But now suddenly with this, Matt, don't you think like it kind of Elevate. put the outfit and elevates the, yeah, the outfit together? For sure. So anyways, that's what is going on. And um, I really want you, they're all up. And I have a feeling these are going to sell through very quickly. So I would definitely grab one if you're interested. These combos always go so fast. And um, if there's one that you guys love, I may bring it back. So you know what? Let's go. Um, what else, Matt? Well, so we've been inspired by what you found this morning. Yes. So 
This guy's name is, I gotta go look it up. I can't. Yeah, so His last name is Cornfield, and he's a, um, a monk who is now, I think he, Matt just says he has two monasteries, right? I mean, we're late to the game with this. I think yeah. a lot of people know yes, this of guy. Yes, of course, of course. But he, it sounds from what I can gather so far initially is that as a younger man, he went full in on the monk thing. Yes, yes. And then at, some, at some point he came back to secular life. Yep. But he's been devoting his life to bring a lot of his learnings from that prior time into now. And, I, and when I just looked quickly, I was saying he has like two of the largest... Buddhist centers, I guess, in you it's know, really amazing North America. So I think the lesson that I learned from him today is this concept of people. We're constantly separating our um, actions, so our what we do, yeah. without um, connecting it to your mind and your heart. So that so means you were saying earlier, actions and intent. And intent, right? And we do all these actions and moving around, doing all this stuff, and not connecting it with your intent, which is some, has to come from your mind and your heart. So think about it this way. So he had this great example. Um, and then that coupled together is what's going to drive how that future looks. So the, 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 the result of the action may actually be very different in terms of what karma you read back. So for example, um, someone cutting someone open with a knife. That sounds disgusting, but let's think about it. If you're a surgeon, you're gonna take that same knife, you're gonna cut someone open, but the intent is to heal you. So that is totally different than someone who's a crazy person with um, the same knife, cutting someone open, wanting to murder them. So think about it that way, it's the same action. That's dramatic. I know, but it's, <laughs> you have good. to make it dramatic yeah. to really picture it, right? Yeah. Action, totally the same, tools, the same, However, the only difference is how your mind and heart is while you're doing it. So that is the intent. Those two are very different because the karma you're going to reap at the end and where you're going to go in your life is going to be totally different. And isn't that crazy? Because the action and the tools are actually the same thing. So if you think about it that way, I was telling Matt, like maybe whatever action you're going to take, slow down maybe just take one or two minutes just to really think about that and connect that action with your mind and your heart so for example you could go out and you're going to exercise and and i do i find myself doing this so when i'm running where when this you're is just interesting because you know for years now it's been really trendy people are like oh do this with intentionality right right and that's fine you understand it on the surface what they're saying but i think the way you're describing it plays back to that and makes it more interesting and meaningful. I think so. Yeah. And and it's all because you use your mind. You, it's the seeds that you put into your mind. It is so important. And I think no one talks about it, right? Like, we're just always about action in this, you know, where we're around. Like, it's always about action. It's all about results. However, we never talk about when your action is coupled up with your mind and your heart, what is that result better? Do you know what I mean? And I think that's what it is that's so interesting. And I was thinking about this, like when you just think about, oh my God, I have to hurry and I just want to get my workout in and you're just doing your run on the treadmill without thinking about how you're breathing, what you're trying to do with this exercise, where is, is this a zone two training? Is this a hit workout? What are you trying to get out of it and connecting that mind and heart with what you're doing? I think the, the, the result of that workout is going to be very different than the result of you just taking three or four minutes, just being mindful about like, okay, today's a zone two workout. I'm gonna stay in the zone. What do I wanna get out of it? It's the same action, you're still running, but you're gonna see that you're gonna measure your results. You're gonna be, while you're in it and while you're running about, you're gonna be thinking about it. So you'll be a lot like, you know, so you're but also, instead like, of just trying know, to get through it. Go easy on yourself. It's a sliding scale. It's also relative. So like if you're, sitting like a couch potato. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fact that you're even just moving. Just getting on the treadmill. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like it, it's, it's not, it's not always this high bar of like super intense intentionality. It's relative to, it meets you where you're at, I think. Right, but yeah. even getting on the treadmill, why don't you just take one minute, just be like, you know what? I want to start moving, you know, while you're moving. Just with that intent in your mind, it's going to be a different walking for Oh no, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I'm saying sometimes, you're on the couch. Yes, because it sounds like enough, too much. It's enough to have the intention to move yourself. Correct. Which gets you on That's that true. treadmill. 
then sure. later, once you've built up that habit of getting on that treadmill more, then I, I hear what you're saying. Next level is yes. now focus on your, but like, don't let it be such a big bar for you to take action. Like, I agree. Just having that perhaps lower, relatively lower level intention of like, well, I'm sitting here doing nothing. I'm yeah. immobile. Yeah. My intention is to start moving. Yes. Don't, 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 ha yeah. don't have like such high requirements. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. I agree. So anyways, that's what we learned today. I will link you to, um, Mr. Cornfield's uh, podcast or his, his handle, because I think, you know, many people might find him really interesting. Um, I really, I was like, we were just oh listening to it. One of his talks recorded from 92. On yeah. YouTube. It's crazy. It's yeah. timeless. And it's, there's just a lot of little gems that, um, I hope people can get from it. And just, you know, even just one little gem could really change the way you see things. So that's all. And um, check out the new sling bags because I really find them really cool. So we will chat tomorrow and um, it's Friday tomorrow. Okay. Thank Bye, guys. Goodness.